in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a very simple but yet very effective leave-in spray for a faster hair growth if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if these are the type of content you like to watch so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it So the first thing I'm going to start with is by adding one cup of water into the pot. Then I'm going to transfer the pot to the stove. I'm going to allow it to boil for a few minutes. After boiling, I'm going to go ahead and transfer the boiling water into the bowl. So the first ingredient for today's video is green tea. So if you don't have green tea, you can also use black tea as well. You can purchase your green tea from Amazon. Green tea helps to stimulate your hair follicles and it makes your hair grow faster. So I'm going to be using one bag of green tea in today's video. Our next ingredient that I'm going to be adding is rosemary. So I'm going to be using the fresh rosemary leaves. So rosemary is amazing for hair growth. Rosemary increases hair volume, it controls hair fall, it's amazing at treating scalp issues like dandruffs, itchy scalp or infection on the scalp as well. I'm also going to go ahead and add the dry rosemary leaves as well. So you don't have to use both dry rosemary leaves and the fresh rosemary leaves just pick one i would suggest always use the fresh rosemary leaves because it's just infused quicker compared to the dry one so i'm going to be adding two tablespoon of the dry rosemary leaves into the bowl as well our next ingredient that i'm going to be adding is cloves so if you don't have cloves you can also use fenugreek seed as well Cloves contain high level of antioxidants and nutrients that can help your hair to grow much faster. It's amazing at strengthening your hair, especially if you have breakable hair. Cloves can also be used for protecting your scalp from dandruffs, which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. It also contains anti-inflammatory agent, which further helps in thickness of hair. So I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cloves into the bowl. Once I'm done adding all the ingredients, I went ahead and mix everything together. After mixing, I cover the bowl. I'm going to allow it to infuse for 24 hours before using it. You can also allow it to infuse overnight or eight hours. After 24 hours, this is how it looks like. As you guys can see, the cloves has doubled in size and the rosemary has changed color, which means that the ingredients has infused into the water correctly. Now I'm going to go ahead and strain it out. So I'm going to be using my cheesecloth. You can use whatever you have to strain it out. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video or if these are the type of content you enjoy watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients natural ingredient that you can find in your kitchen so once i'm done straining this is how it looks like i'm going to go ahead and add five drops of rosemary essential oil you can add any essential oil of your choice i'm also going to go ahead and add my diy hair growth oil so this is my cloves and mint oil so this part is optional you don't have to add any essential oil or any egg growth oil so you don't have to do this part it's optional so once i'm done adding my essential oil and my diy hair growth oil this is how it looks like now i'm going to go ahead and transfer the spray into my applicator bottle for easy use
So this is how the spray looks like and it's ready to be used. So you can store this spray in the fridge for up to 10 days. You can use this spray as a leave-in spray. You can also use it as a hair rinse as well. So I have different videos on my channel how to use it as a leave-in or as a hair rinse. So definitely do check it out if you don't know how to apply it to your hair. But I would suggest always use it as a leave-in because that's the way you're going to get all the amazing benefits that contain in this spray so make sure to focus on your scalp if you're going to be applying it as a leave-in remember that our hair grow from the scalp so always make sure to apply the spray to your scalp once you apply the spray to your scalp you want to make sure to go ahead and massage your scalp. Scalp massage is also amazing when it comes to hair growth. So you can use this spray on a daily basis. Make sure you apply your leave-in conditioner anytime you apply the spray to your hair. As I mentioned before, you can also use this spray as a hair rinse as well. So if you have natural hair, chemical hair or locks, you can also use this spray on your hair as well. So guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.